we want you to do now is let you into the three most powerful professional speaking secrets that we've been using today. I told you that I would reveal, and I'm going to reveal, I'm going to give you that value today, right now. So, the first P, and you may want to make it in the notes section, you may want to write it down, you may want to observe if you've seen this, you, if you've seen this before, if you've seen me do this before, just talk amongst yourselves, the rest of us can listen. Um, I, want, I want you to write this down, and I seriously want you to write this down because it's very powerful. And the first P is what we call professional eye contact. Professional eye contact. I've been using it throughout the day, throughout the morning. What do I mean by professional eye contact? I mean that I'm not looking at the tops of the heads, I'm not doing the lighthouse effect, sweeping from here, there. Hi, I'm Bilal Jamil from Public Speaking Academy. Hi, it's really nice to meet you, and you're thinking this guy is not being true. Whereas when I look somebody in the eye, and I smile, I get a smile back, and I notice, yes, oh, I've got a lap, and then Neil, yes, sir, thank you very much, I got a nod there, and then over there, and I got a smile again. When I start to move, genuinely, authentically, look them in the eye, I'm now talking to you. No, oh, it's not, it's not an illusion, I am talking to you. But isn't that nice? Because what you're doing is you're holding the eye contact for that little bit longer, you're not staring them, you're going, hello, I'm me. It's three to five seconds. Don't overdo it. Look them in the eye, hold the conversation, give them the message and the emotion. Give them the message and the emotion. Make them feel special. How do you attract a woman into your life? You make her feel? You play man. <laughs> a man in your life, you make them feel? Special. Make them feel special. Make your audience feel special. Look them in the eye. Give them the message and the emotion. Yeah. Professional eye contact. You'll see the best speakers in the world do this all the time. Obama walks into the stage and he goes, Hey, please welcome to say the American the first president, or whatever they call him, and he comes on, he's like, like, hey, hey, hey. Anyone there? No one's there. No, he's just doing all that business, and he's like, yay. And then everyone, everyone in the audience goes, me? <laughs> and that last guy for about a mile. And we see that all the time. You can use professional eye contact in huge audiences, and it gains control. Eye contact gains control of your audience. It also shows that you're enjoying yourself. And it creates that buzz in the room. Yeah. Remember teachers at school, when you, start, when you turn around and you start writing, when you see the teacher writing down, and the class starts to mess about. Because the eyes are looking away. That's how powerful the eyes are. Yeah. We remember that. We were messing about. Who's a teacher in the room? Anyone teacher in the room? <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Eye contact does make a difference. Yes, yes, it is right. Yeah. Helen's all. I seem to forget when I do that. If I make an eye contact with somebody, I forget what I'm saying. Yeah, and it's a skill. It is a skill. <laughs> it is true. A lot of people do, and they tend to search for inspiration up here, and they tend to search inspiration yeah. down there. And we teach you how to make, make the eyes inspirational. So that whilst I'm thinking, mm. I'm still maintaining eye contact. We'll teach you that process through the exercises. That's, that's, that's a really important point you need to recognise. Mm. It is a skill. Mm. It is a skill. So I can think whilst I'm looking at your eyes. Mm. I'm finding inspiration in your eyes. <laughs> you looking at me going, what? <laughs> yes, that's true. Does that make sense? Yes. I get nervous stopping sometimes on the phone because you can't see a person, so it's quite, quite, quite frightening. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The phone is difficult because you can't make expressions. So when we're teaching call centres how to make calls, we're asking them to imagine their best friend. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's Bilal, how are you doing? Hello, it's Bilal, how are you doing? It's two different tones and because you're imagining certain things. So yeah, it's powerful. It's powerful. So use it to your advantage with the fact you can see people. Use it to your advantage. If you're doing stand-up comedy or a big stage work, you've got big lights on your, your face, you can't see the audience. So when we're teaching conference speaking, we have to teach different techniques. But it's to do with your resource. So that's technique one, professional eye contact. Technique two is professional pause. Professional pause. You wanted to fill it. Professional pause. Using it there and then. I call it James Bond. The name's Bond. James. 
Could we pause this down in the front? James <laughs> <laughs> Bond. James Bond. He does that well, he does a pause well. Mm -hmm. Creates gravitas. Something that is different about the professional pause, however, is we're not just talking about going silent, we are talking about changing the pace and the tonality of what you say. You see, those of you who are watching carefully will notice that I elongate my words, which buys me time, allows me to control my breathing, creates emphasis in the room, and I'm exaggerating at the moment, by the way. <laughs> but I'm exploiting the public speaking rules. I'm buying time to think, whilst my, uh, my audience has time to reflect. I'm buying time to think, whilst my audience has time to reflect. And I can do this on the stage. I can do this on the stage. I'm using repetition. If I have a conversation with Sam one to one and I say, how are you doing, how are you doing, how are you doing, how are you doing, it looks a bit stupid. I come on the stage and how are you guys doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I can get away with it. Whoa! The world's changed. The world's changed. Exploit the rules. Make them work for you. Professional pause allows you to do that. Does that make sense? Any questions on professional pause? Very powerful technique. Very powerful. There's lots behind it as well, but I'm just giving you a little bit of an overview. And finally, the one most powerful technique on earth is what we call practice. You're really good at something, you need to do it again and again and again and again and again and then again. If you want to be brilliant at something, you need to have 5,000 hours of stage time. Then you're ready to die. But it is a fact. You want to be a legend, you need to do legendary things. You want to make a difference, you need to do different things. As a speaker, you need practice, but you need to do professional practice. It means that you need to practice in the right environment, with the right training, with the right tools, with the right people, in the right way, and then you make the right changes. If you do things the wrong way, you get the wrong results. If you practice being pretty crap, you get good at being pretty crap. If you practice doing the wrong things with the wrong people in the mirror, you're the expert teaching yourself. So the person who said, Pract I practice in the mirror, well then you practice being crap. Because you didn't get any advice, you didn't get any feedback. You might get really good at being crap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm pretty crap, but I'm going to practice, you know. So, so, so it's, it doesn't make sense. We want, we want to go to the gym, we want to learn how to work out. We go and learn from a personal trainer, we go to a gym instructor, we go and get to an expert. We want to learn some philosophy. We don't go, oh, I'm going to go and sit, to, unless you're Aristotle, I'm going to go and sit on the top of a mountain and reflect. <laughs> they don't do that really. They tend to have teachers, they tend to have mentors, they tend to have people around them who can pass their knowledge off. I still have mentors, I still have teachers, I still have people that I watch, I observe, I learn from, I speak to, I get coached by. Fifteen years on, I'm part of an institution, an organization that constantly challenges me. There's a video camera on me! Because <laughs> I'm learning even now. I'm still learning. Do not, do not become arrogant and think you can learn yourself. You can't. You need to get the right training, the right mind.